Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is the 2nd of March, 2016. Today I'm in Covington, Louisiana. I'm about nine miles from the Abbey. And today we're looking at bees in the exterior wall. The owner says they've been here for at least two years. I'm kind of expecting to see a bunch of wax in there and uh, simply a matter of taking that sheet of plywood down and exposing the hive, breaking out the vacuum cleaner, start sucking. So with the grace of God, blessings of Easter, these girls this afternoon will be up at the Abbey doing the rebuilding of Abbey Honey. So let's get with it. Sixteen inches wide, and at least five and a half foot tall. And I think might be three deep. So I'm gonna get the vacuum out, and I'm gonna start vacuuming and look at that. Thing. Time to go. I want to uh, give a shot of that comb before I start cutting away. I vacuumed off a bunch of bees off of it. And I just want to show you, look at that queen's laying pattern right there. That's nice, very nice. Come on down to the bottom of it, all this brand new comb. It's all drone comb down here. We're cutting that stuff off. And we have some of that mixed drone and brood right there. And some more drone right there. And as you move up, now you start moving into the, into the honey section up here. And some more brood right there. And then in this upper part, all honey up there. So those bees are just feeding up right now, storing up for the disaster that lays ahead of them. Making sure they have something, uh, some kind of stores that they can have. But I'm gonna feed them when I get up to the Abbey anyway. So I'm gonna set my table up now and go ahead and start cutting out some of this comb and putting it in the frame. So far, no queen, but I'm looking. job of the cutout part is all done. All cut out and uh, unfortunately I never saw the queen. Uh, the, the, uh, the way that comb was built she was probably hiding behind that back piece and she may have gotten killed with me trying to loosen it up because it was very very tight back there. And. Uh, I got 10 frames of brood, 10 nice frames of brood, and then here's all the, uh, the bees right here. I'm, I'm going to guess we're in that 15-20,000 bees in here. Hey, 
there's a lot of these. I sucked over over well, almost three hours I vacuum. So it's time to go up to the Abbey now. Put these boxes together and uh, release those little girls and climb up on that brood comb. It's supposed to get to 40 degrees tonight. And cover it up. And uh, so we'll pick it up up at the Abbey. Back up at the Abbey now. And uh, this time I, I actually, you look at our boxes. This is this is the, the box that um, vacuumed all the bees. You have your your vacuum in, intake right here. The hose goes into right here, and I suck all the bees into here. And there's ten uh, frames in there with um, some foundation on them, and the bees just climb onto that and hang onto it. And uh, so they'll they'll they're onto there. And once once we remove this screen, they they walk up from this bottom box into the brood in, into this box right here. Um, and and uh, like I said, I've got 10 frames of brood in here. It was it, it was nice frames of brood in there. Uh, this this third box right here, I, I put two frames of um, honey in there. And plus, there were so many bees in this hive, I want to give them uh, some room. And so tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, I'll put my tray of sugar water in there and and put in some uh, some more uh, frames up in there with uh, brood uh, with um, this old brood comb that I'll put in there. So. Give that queen, um, if she's in there, uh, someplace to lay, and if she's not, well, we definitely have enough uh, um, queen, a uh, little larva in there to, uh, for them to make a new queen. But I think I think she's in there. I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, open, uh, release the, uh, the, the the bees from the bottom box, and let them uh, walk their way up. There were a lot of uh, drones uh, in this hive, and, uh, so there there were no there were a couple of cups. I saw a couple of queen cups in there, but there were no swarm cells. Uh, nothing uh, you know, eminent that they were going to swarm, but within a week or so, they definitely would have swarmed out of there. Well, that's all I have for you today. Oh, I gotta uh, say, so somebody told me that when I was up there. Mike told me that, the homeowner told me that it's not March 2nd, we're in April 2nd, 2016. So a, a little correction on, on the date. I'm a little month behind. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. And I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, out. Looks like it got the, the drone buffet going on right here. Oh yeah. Feed up girls. It's gonna all go into our heads. That's some good stuff. Fresh. Fresh. <laughs>